Hi Aquarius, this is going to be a room reading. I haven't done a room reading in a long time. And so I'm going to make this one timeless. I trust it will reach those Aquarius hearts in divine timing. Um, and I'm using my turtle runes today. I created my own set out of turtle bones. I um, was very blessed in my path and uh, my nature walks to come across a lot of turtle carcasses. So turtle bones, turtle runes, excuse me, turtle runes for today. What are the messages? Do I need to tell Aquarius loves today? Oh, they want me to start with sound belt. Okay. And as soon as I hit record, the sun, sun chart, the sun started shining through the windows so brightly. I could be a little bit tongue tied right now. You hear that? Like, <laughs> the center. Okay. Mercury is out of retrograde. So ding, ding. Yeah. Communication, you know, um, could be coming through now. Sun speaking about new beginnings, Aquarius. Okay. That sun shining so brightly through the win window there. Take a few deep breaths in for me and out. There we go. Okay, that feels good. Let's get started. I'm burning also some rose incense. So high vibrational love. We're talking about when we talk about rose energy. Okay, what's the room that I need to talk about for my Aquarius love here today? And I might draw a few little tiny tarot cards. I have the littlest, tiniest deck ever. <laughs> And I feel like there's a message in that too with like these tiny cards or these tiny messages or the smallest things or the call them tiny treasures, you know? So let's, let's get a card there too after we talk about the rune, okay? Ooh, I wish I knew these by heart, but I, I want to say this is a partnership here. The two X's on top of each other. My first instinct is to say Gebo, but I'm not sure. I'm going to the book. This is literally the, the rune for fertility, darlings. Okay. And it's called Ingus. So I was wrong. Gebo. Um, but Gebo is an X. That's what I thought that. Okay. Ingus. And fertility. Let's talk about that. No wonder I said partnerships too. Okay. 107. 107 is the page number. I'm going to talk about numbers too, which um, that's an eight frequency. Yep. And eights are always about coming into a harmony or a balance in our life. It is an absolute reflection of as above, so below. And if you think about the eights and the tarot deck, you know, eight of cups, it's just like, you know, yes, once you were fulfilled, but now you're searching for more happy. Maybe there was a part of your life that was emotionally dark. And now we're coming into that part of your life that is much brighter where the light is shining through the window. You know what I mean? Okay, so fertility, new beginnings is this rune. <laughs> and Ing, the hero god. Okay, so I'm just going to read to you what's in my little book here. The message. And then we'll draw a tarot card, Aquarius. This rune is akin to the moon, the intuitive part of our nature, with its urge towards harmonizing and adjusting in the sphere of personal relationships. So, yeah, I've already been talking about eight frequency and coming into harmony, harmonization within relationships. And I was talking about this felt like a partnership, okay? Ingus embodies the need to share, the yearning to be desired, a search for similarities. The completion of beginnings is what Ingus requires. Drawing this rune may mark a time of joyful deliverance, a new life, a new path. A rune of great power receiving it means that you now have the strength to achieve completion, resolution, from which comes a new beginning. 
Above all, completion is crucial here. It may be timely that you complete some project now. Mm -hmm. If so, make that your first priority. Perhaps a difficult state of mind can be clarified or resolved. The appearance of this rune indicates that you must fertilize the ground for your own deliverance. All things change and we cannot live permanently amid obstructions. Inga signals your emergence from a close chrysalis state. As you resolve, by the way, Ingus is number eight in this book. On page 10788 now. Um, <laughs> sorry. I get excited about numbers, Aquarius. You know, you know, you speak my language. Ingus signals your emergence from a closed chrysalis state. As you resolve and clear away the old, you will experience a release from tension and uncertainty. You may be required to free yourself from a rut, habit, or a relationship, from some deep cultural or behavioral pattern, some activity that was quite proper to the self you are leaving behind. The time of birth is always a critical one. Movement can involve danger, and yet movement that is timely leads out of danger. The time has come to enter the delivery room. You are birthing a new life. Ooh, are you feeling those labor pains? Normal, right? Okay. Another of the cycle runes, Ingus, counsels preparation. Being centered and grounded, freeing yourself from all unwanted influences and seeing the humor love. This is crone energy. You are indeed prepared to open to the will of heaven and await your deliverance with calm certainty. Mm. I really love that for you, Aquarius. I really, really fucking do. I'm really excited for you for that. Birth in a new life. Okay, so let me shuffle up my little bowl here of the tiniest tarot tricks. <laughs> tiniest tarot tricks. <laughs> tell me more about Ingus. What else do we got to tell the Aquarius tribe? What else do we got to tell them? What are we doing? This one? This one? This one? This one! <laughs> oh, loves. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm getting used to this deck, so I'm counting the wands. It's a fucking ton of wands. It's a lot of passion, but it's just, it's an overload of burden as well. This is the ten of wands. The ten, though, is the ending and the new beginning. This person's carrying a heavy load. This person may be living up to other people's expectations as well. Ten of wands energy. Said, it said, release yourself from the past. You are no longer... In the cocoon, your wings are strong, okay? It's time to fly. Yeah. So drop these wands, these other other people's shit. It's okay to say no as well, too, and start anew. Start again. What are you passionate about? Aquarius, ten of wands, energy. I want to get another one. <laughs> Do you understand that ten is a beginning. The one and the zero. The one. Magician. The zero. The fool. You don't have to carry this heavy emotional burden, if that's what that is, too. This duty or obligation that you feel here. Whatever that is, Aquarius. What is this one? This underneath the amethyst. Holy crap, Bola. You feel so trapped and so limited right now. This is the Eight of Swords. You feel blindfolded, you're blindfolded here and tied up. But I'm telling you, the swords, the swords are your thoughts, is the mind, okay? You're trapped in your mind, in the labyrinth of your mind. That's why you need to let go, too, of other people's expectations here. You're birthing a new life, a new you. These are blocks in the mind. This eight. An eight again. Shit, they want me to get another one. Damn, this is more than just one room reading. It's okay. I'm enjoying it. It's time I do some room reading. Okay. Yes, it's time to heal your heart here too. It shows me that somebody has been in a period of depression for a while. 
I've got the five of cups here. And the five of cups now is the change, though. Fives are transformation. Moving into six, which is what? Balance. Okay? So, five of cups is, can you see the silver lining in the situation? What you've learned, okay? Here. There's a lot of sadness. There's a lot of burden here. There's a lot of mental, uh, um, it's almost sabotage. And carrying other people's, uh, like, this is telling me that it, it makes you sad, other people's opinions of you, or um, it makes you sad. You feel burdened by some sort of duty or chores, or maybe it's at home, maybe it's at work, but you have a lot of regret for not being able to live up to other people's expectations too, or something from the past that you're still holding on to. Because four of cups, five of cups is, those are the, the, those are the depressive states, but it is time to see the silver lining in a situation is five cups. What's the final advice here for Aquarius? You are fertile. You are new again. You are birthing a new life. You are a butterfly. Yes, and now we've got this grounded energy here. Look how, okay, you got to look too here that every suit is coming out here. Cups, wands, swords, and now what do we got? I got the nine of pentacles. And you know what this energy is? Is that you learn some lessons about your worth, okay? Nine of pentacles is a self-made kind of energy here. Okay, beautiful, ground into that, ground in knowing that your value, okay, is that you are a divine co-creator here, you are content, solid, firm and grounded in your own beliefs here Aquarius, okay, you've been investing in yourself. That's what this tells me too, okay? So, I love you guys. I hope this, and if you haven't been, it's time to. This is time, this is a single card too, so it's time to focus on self with the Nine of Pentacles out here. And what does abundance mindset mean to you? Because abundance is not just money, right? An abundance of happiness, abundance of bliss, an abundance of peace, an abundance of ease, an abund you know? And that's what this card is talking about. These lessons you've been learning about your value and how you value yourself. And time for you to forgive yourself too. I think with that five of cups coming out here or others to set yourself free. Okay? You are worthy of beautiful connections, new relationships that feel good as well. Okay, I love you, Aquarius. Take good care of you. Drop me some love down below if it resonated. Thank you for your tips and good karma donations. And if you'd like your own personal rune reading like this, please do reach out to me. Every like helps. Every share helps. Every comment helps. I want to go live. I'm almost there. So and when I go live, I can do readings for you guys right there and we can interact. So fuck yes. I love you, Aquarius. Thanks for your support. Bye.